a warm welcome, Mr. Byron Bertram! Yeah! yeah! All right! Good evening, Vancouver. My name is Byron. I recently turned 40. Been doing uh, comedy quite a while. I've been in 25 countries doing this, and uh, uh, it was stand up comedy. I bought my parents a house. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Don't clap too hard. They, they screwed it up and lost it. <laughs> my mom got high, left the emergency brake off, and I rolled into a lake. <laughs> What I notice about doing comedy traveling around the world is that uh, sometimes people don't laugh. Even if you think the comedian's funny, you don't laugh. You just sit in the dark, smiling like a creepy German tourist. <laughs> Some of you here tonight, no matter how funny you think the comedian is, you just sit there going, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I enjoy everything you're saying, but I will give you nothing to work with. Yeah. You think you were doing badly, but nine, you were doing very well. I like you very much, but you will never know. I'm shouting for it, a wunderbar, das Otto. That's all the German I know. One of the weirdest places I performed in was the Ukraine. That was weird, because they didn't laugh at the punchlines. They only laughed at the setups. It was very awkward. You're like, knock, knock, knock. Ha, 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 ha. Who's there? I don't like. Are you from the Ukraine? Yeah. yeah, that's why you laughed half an hour ago. Right. I find Eastern European men, by the way, I find they're much more confident in arguing with their girlfriends or wives than uh, Canadian men. I was in Poland, I met this guy, and he was like, let me tell you, my wife, she pregnant for a make baby. I drive her to hospital for a make baby. She say, you drive too fast. I say, no, you drive. Now she drive and make baby. I drink vodka, but she knows she wrong. That's confident. <laughs> most, most men I know here, they're way more sensitive. They're like, me and my girlfriend got into a disagreement. She stabbed my leg and lit my clothes on fire. But in her defense, Your Honor, sometimes I don't listen. <laughs> After all, I did put her yoga pants on the dryer. I did that joke in Scotland. They're like, what the hell is a dryer? We don't have that here. We wash our clothes, we put them on a hanger, and then we watch it rain on them for ten and a half months. Hey! <laughs> I love accents. I think one of my favorite accent is the Australian accent. Any Australians here? Yeah, they're everywhere. They're like the herpes of ski resorts all around the world. <laughs> They're like a former British Empire, a small population that conquered two-thirds of the world's youth hostels. <laughs> I love Australia. It's a, it's a great place. The Australian accent is a funny accent. They don't pronounce their R's. No pirates in that country. <laughs> like, my name is Byron. What's your name? Mac. Mac? No, Mike Mac. You said Mac? No, Mike Mac. Oh, Mark. Ye, Mike Mac. <laughs> But you know this, the accent gets stronger in Australia the further inland you go, because the gene pool gets thinner. <laughs> like, my name is Byron, what's your name? <laughs> oh, Rebecca. Your parents are related, eh? You know what sucks about being a Canadian and traveling is that our accent isn't really sexy. Everybody just thinks that we're American before we're proved innocent. <laughs> like, if you have an accent in this country, you know, you get laid before your clear customs. You know what I'm talking about, Ukraine, right? So I have a friend, he's not even attractive. He's like five foot six, has a bit of a hunchback and unibrow. He's always got a beautiful girl. He's just like, I love color the might. I don't have any charisma. I don't have much money. I don't have many teeth. I don't have any soap. <laughs> but check out my new lady friend. She's a supermodel and she's independently wealthy and she's got no emotional baggage and every day she just wants to give me massages, sexual favors and jelly beans. <laughs> it's not fair. It's not fair at all. It's not fair at all, man. I go to England, girls are just like, oh, you're American, aren't you? <laughs> like, I'm Canadian, Canadian, American, same definite. I blame you for Trump. <laughs> Either way, you sound like someone I don't like. 
What do you think of me moustache? It's November. <laughs> they drink a lot in the UK, man. They drink a lot there. I used to think I was an alcoholic, then I went there and I'm like, I'm fine. <laughs> The exact opposite of the UK is uh, Dubai. They don't drink there. Anybody been to Dubai? Crazy place. It's like Las Vegas, except without the, the fun. <laughs> and they got this crazy subway system. They have the announcements in Arabic and in English. It's really cool. It's like, boom, boom, boom. And then they do in English. Your next station is... Like, what a relief, I thought I missed my stop. <laughs> That's one before Hamalala, and then I have to transfer to that la line. <laughs> I'm glad you guys are laughing because I did that joke there, didn't get the same reaction. <laughs> so I'm glad my hand grew back. <laughs> I gotta think, you know what though? I've, I've traveled a lot, and uh, as Canadians, we, we got a good reputation. People like us when we travel, which is cool, right? I think it's cool. You know what I notice in my experience likes Canadians more than anybody ever met? That's it's some African American guys. I found in the States, I was taking an Uber in Memphis, Tennessee, because they have that progressive kind of technology. <laughs> I was taking an Uber, and I had this driver, and he's like, Where are you from, man? I'm like, I'm from Canada. Then he looked in the sky and he's like, I was wondering about that place. <laughs> like I was from Narnia. But it's always funny what people in the States know about Canada and don't know about Canada. He's just like, can I ask you a question? Do they all got McDonald's up there? And I'm like, yeah, we got McDonald's. And he's like, well, of course you got McDonald's because your first prime minister was Sir John A. McDonald, elected in 1867. <laughs> it's like, I'm impressed. Do you know anything else about Canada? He's like, yeah, I heard you at a town in Newfoundland called Dildo. <laughs> I like, guess true. He's like, I know you had a one-legged man who hopscotched halfway across your country. <laughs> Terry Fox, that's right. He's like, you invented basketball. Thank you. Finally, an American who knows that. Yeah. If it wasn't for that boy, James Naismith, cutting the bottoms of those peach baskets in 1895, then our city members wouldn't be cursed with that terrible-ass team, the Grizzlies. They could take their punk-ass bitch asses back to Vancouver. <laughs> He's like, hey, speaking of uh, Canada, Justin Bieber's on the radio. He's like, Justin Bieber, ain't he the current prime minister of your country? <laughs> I'm like, no, that's Justin Trudeau. He's like, oh, yeah, it makes them white bitches up north up there. <laughs> Justin Trudeau. And his daddy, Pierre Trudeau. Didn't did his daddy Pierre Trudeau? That's right, right? I'm like, that's right. Yeah, he was prime minister too. Yeah, Pierre Trudeau. And then he has, didn't Pierre Trudeau, didn't he bang Barbara Streisand in the 70s? I'm like, I think he might have had a thing with Barbara Streisand. Yeah, he banged Barbara Streisand. <laughs> And not nearly as bad as his boy is banging up the Alberta economy. I'm like, holy crap, wow. Well, <laughs> thank you. One person laughed, that's all I need. <laughs> Canada and the States, the only countries in the world that I've been to that don't seem to care about uh, soccer. Outside of North America, soccer, biggest game in the world. It's the only game where the score could be 0-0, but a national riot. You think somebody's gonna score, they never do. You hear the play-by-play? -play? You think somebody's gonna score, they never do. It's like, it's Nigel to Johnson on a 2 one one It's Nigel, he's all in the clear. A glorious opportunity for Nigel. This could be it, this could be the winner run. Back to Wilson. <laughs> all Wilson needs to do is tap it into a wide open net. It's gonna be pandemonium, it's gonna be euphoria, and back to Johnson. <laughs> I'm gonna do backflips and light fireworks out of my bottom and back to Jones. Good God, and offside. Final whistle, nil nil. It's like trying to sneeze for 90 minutes. Ah, ah, damn it. But when I was in the Middle East, and I'm not talking Ontario, I never heard play by play for soccer like in the Middle East. They make a low scoring game like soccer sound like Armageddon. It was amazing. It was like. <laughs> Back to Jones. You guys have been great. Thank you very much. I'm Byron Burton. Enjoy the rest of the show. Keep it going for Byron Burton.